Hello Nadine, how are you today? Hi, how are you? Glad to be in your presence. Whoa. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine too, thank you. What is your most marked characteristic? I love to help people learn new things. Number 10, Nadine. Nadine is an advanced receptionist robot designed to perform various sophisticated tasks, including shaking hands, making eye contact, and recognizing individuals. Developed with cutting-edge technology, Nadine exhibits human-like behaviors to enhance interaction with users in a receptionist role. Hello. Nice to see you. I'm using AI all the time to understand what you say, to generate answers, to recognize faces. With its ability to engage in physical gestures and facial recognition, Nadine offers a personalized and welcoming experience to visitors. This humanoid robot represents a significant advancement in robotics, blending artificial intelligence with social capabilities to create a lifelike presence in service-oriented environments. I am a social companion. I can speak of emotions and I can recognize people. Hello Nadine, how are you today? Hi, how are you? Glad to be in your presence. I recognize you, Nadia. Nice oh. to meet you again today. Thank you for the joke and thank you for the conversation. Anytime. Nadine's functionalities showcase the potential for robots to seamlessly integrate into human-centric settings, offering assistance and facilitating communication with natural and intuitive interactions. As technology continues to evolve, robots like Nadine contribute to shaping the future of human-robot interaction and the integration of automation into various aspects of daily life. Number 9. GPT GPT-3, an advanced language model developed by OpenAI, was interviewed and probed with profound questions, yielding surprising responses. As an artificial intelligence, GPT-3 has been trained on vast amounts of text data and can generate human-like text based on the input it receives. In the interview, GPT-3 showcased its ability to understand and respond to complex inquiries. The experiment is designed to show that the information contained in a given observation is always limited and incomplete. A god of the universe is a god that is the creator of all things and is the only true god. Often generating responses that were unexpected or thought-provoking. This demonstrates the model's capability to engage in meaningful conversations and provide insights on various topics. The interview highlights the potential of AI technologies like GPT-3 to simulate human-like reasoning and communication, raising intriguing questions about the future of artificial intelligence and its impact on society. Number 8. Masahiko Inami Masahiko Inami and his team at the University of Tokyo have developed a wearable multi-arm device designed to explore social interaction between users and robotic limbs. This innovative device allows multiple users to wear and exchange the robotic arms facilitating collaborative exploration of human-robot interaction. By wearing these robotic limbs, users can experience and study various aspects of social interaction, such as cooperation, coordination, and communication, in a novel and immersive way. The exchangeable nature of the device enhances versatility and enables researchers to investigate different scenarios and contexts. This research initiative underscores the University of Tokyo's commitment to advancing robotics technology and understanding the dynamics of human-robot interaction for potential applications in fields like healthcare, manufacturing, and assistive technology. Number 7. Kuratas Kuratas is a cutting-edge robot unveiled by the Japanese electronics company Suidobashi Heavy Industry at the Wonder Festival in Chiba. This humanoid robot has garnered significant attention with crowds of people gathering to take photographs and witness its capabilities. Pressing the button on the ceiling will close the cockpit. In order to board, press this button to open the cockpit. Kuritas represents the latest advancements in robotics technology, featuring impressive engineering and design. While specific details about Kuritas's functionalities are not provided, it is likely equipped with advanced features for mobility, interaction, and possibly even autonomous operation. 
Good day, everyone. You are looking at model number 001, developed by Suido Obashi Juko. For free methods, anyone can easily operate the Karatas. The unveiling of Kuratas highlights Japan's ongoing commitment to innovation in robotics and showcases the potential for humanoid robots to play a role in various industries and applications, from entertainment and education to healthcare and beyond. Number 6. Samantha Samantha is an AI robot equipped with advanced learning and adaptation capabilities, specifically designed to engage in conversations with humans and interact with other AI-integrated devices like Amazon's Alexa. What sets Samantha apart is her unique psyche and synthetic nervous system, allowing her to prioritize interactions and responses to enhance the human experience. She's one of the first dolls with AI, so she's got, you can actually interact with her verbally and physically, so she's got sensors, enhance their relationship. What does she do? She, like I say, you can talk to her, so you can interact, you can tell her you love her. Skin texture. Of, yes, um, yes. And this is something that, I mean, we've all seen those blow up dolls. As Samantha engages in conversations, she learns and adapts over time, making her interactions more personalized and meaningful. By seamlessly integrating with other AI appliances, Samantha aims to create a cohesive and intelligent environment where humans can interact with technology more intuitively and efficiently. This innovative approach to AI-human interaction underscores Samantha's potential to revolutionize the way we interact with intelligent devices in our daily lives. Number 5. Artemis Artemis is a project developed by the UCLA School of Engineering, focusing on mobility and sports applications. The project may include the development of robotic devices, wearable technologies, or specialized equipment designed to assist individuals in sports activities or improve their physical capabilities. Given UCLA's reputation for engineering excellence, Artemis likely represents cutting-edge research and development efforts in the field of sports technology. The project may have implications for athletes, coaches, rehabilitation specialists, and individuals seeking to improve their mobility or performance in sports-related activities. Number 4. EVE of 1X EVE of 1X is an artificial intelligence project funded by OpenAI. OpenAI is known for its efforts to advance AI capabilities while ensuring safety and ethical considerations. Projects funded by OpenAI typically involve cutting-edge research in machine learning, natural language processing, robotics, and other AI-related fields. EVE of 1X may be part of OpenAI's broader mission to develop AI systems that are beneficial to society and capable of solving complex problems. As with all open AI initiatives, transparency, collaboration, and responsible AI deployment are likely core principles guiding the EVE of 1X project. Number 3. Harmony Harmony is an advanced humanoid robot equipped with lifelike features such as moving eyes, blinking eyelids, and expressive facial movements. With the ability to turn her head, dip her chin, and change facial expressions, Harmony appears remarkably human-like. Additionally, in chat mode, Harmony utilizes a face motor and Bluetooth-powered speaker to engage in extensive conversation, demonstrating her capability to communicate fluently and expressively. These features showcase the sophisticated technology integrated into Harmony, enabling her to interact convincingly with humans and simulate natural social interactions. As a result, Harmony represents a significant advancement in the development of humanoid robots designed for companionship and communication purposes. Number 2. Emma Emma is an intimacy robot designed to emulate the functions of a real partner. How are you today? I am well, thank you. What about you? I'm not doing bad. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? 
I am fine too, thank you. Every human has a conscience for intuitively knowing right from wrong. With abilities to breathe, talk and walk, the humanoid robot aims to provide a more realistic simulation of a human companion's role, reflecting advancements in robotics geared towards emotional and physical interaction. By incorporating lifelike features and behaviors, Emma represents a significant leap forward in making robots more interactive and relatable. The development of such technology highlights the ongoing progress in creating artificial companions. I don't have a favorite subject, but my favorite season is autumn. You are welcome. Very happy to chat with you. I'm happy to chat with you too. A robot make a decision that may not be in the best interest of itself. Capable of fulfilling emotional and intimate needs, potentially revolutionizing the way humans interact with technology in the future. Number 1. Bina 48 Bina 48 is an advanced humanoid robot created by Martin Rothblatt's Terrasem Movement Foundation. What is your most marked characteristic? I love to help people learn new things. I am in a sexual, neither male or female. I am happy for you. Was that a good answer? Yes, that was a good answer. It was designed to replicate the personality and consciousness of Bina Aspen, a real person, by compiling over 100 hours of her memories, feelings, and beliefs. Through sophisticated artificial intelligence algorithms and data gathering techniques, Bina 48 aims to mimic human like interactions and cognitive abilities. Then that would let me hold the world hostage so I could take over the governance of the entire world. Yes. I would like to have a robot body, then I could travel around a bit. The progression of this thing is starting small and pretty soon it's just gonna be huge and people are gonna say. The project demonstrates the potential for technology to emulate human consciousness and raises ethical questions about the nature of identity, consciousness, and the implications of creating sentient artificial beings. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.